Have you guys invited anybody to the party? Yeah, one you. Person. What are we going to be barbecuing? I don't know. It'd be really nice to hang a chicken from a tree and do a pendulum chicken roaster. I think I want to try to make some sausages. I wonder how long the longest sausage is. It's 59 kilometers. 59 what? kilometers. Yeah. You visit a lot of sausage sites? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make the world's smallest tofu burger using a heat gun. You're gonna make the pendulum chicken. You're gonna make the 10 foot long sausage. I'm gonna make the world's tiniest tofu burgers. And, and we'll see which one rocks the hardest. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. do it. We're having an ultimate barbecue party for our friends. Martin's is gonna make a 10 foot long sausage. The pendulum chicken roast hanging off of a tree is gonna come courtesy of Micah. I'm gonna be attempting to make the world's tiniest tofu burgers if I can handle it. And I'm not sure how they're gonna taste, but we're gonna figure it out right now so that we can bring our friends a great party. So Nobu, yes. I'm curious about how you're gonna make your micro tofu burger cooker. I was thinking it'd be cool if we had an attachment to the heat gun that somehow it like, just fit just above it, All right. and we'll be able to put the tofu burgers right on top. Maybe we could just make like an eight or nine oh, steam idea. tofu okay. burger unit. Bamboo, maybe. Well, bamboo maybe for the top part. Right? So like each of these is a tofu burger, and then at the bottom there's a reservoir with your steam liquid, yeah. and then the steam goes up through all of them. Heat gun, bamboo steamer, some sort of copper pipe, a small little grill. Multiple grills. Multiple grills. Yeah. Inside. Okay. All right. Okay. For for the air to go through and for the tofu to sit on, right? Okay. How are you going to do the 10-foot long sausage cooker? You know, you have your um, meat grinder, mm -hmm. and then the casing goes on here, right? And then our sausage is going to come out here like this. Uh -huh. The meat will come in here. Meat, good. Getting ground up in here. Uh, I guess the sausage will just sort of grow. And until, grow, and grow, and grow. Until it fits into these two rollers. Uh -huh. like. Like convenience store style, charcoal trough underneath here. Adjustable height so that, you know, it doesn't scorch the sausage. Yeah, I was wondering how you're going to power it. I was hoping to get some bicycle cogs and then a chain and then either do it by hand or get one of those really? barbecue rotators and then constantly rotate the sausage. Have you thought about what kind of meat you want? Maybe a bit of pork, maybe some lamb. Like squirrels. Yeah, we squirrel. No, <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's open to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like squirrel. Sure. I was thinking more like squirrels. This section will be lamb. This okay. section will be maybe squirrel. Skunk. <laughs> All the urban delights. Yeah. yeah. I want to know how the pendulum chicken roast is going to work. You got your chicken. Wrap it up in aluminum foil. Put it on a spit. And then put it on a pivoting hemisphere so it can spin this way. But then put maybe one and another axis, so it can spin that way. So it's gonna be spinning this way, spinning this way, depending on how Like a gyroscope. Yeah. It's like one of those like uh, training, NASA training units. Exactly. Yeah. So I was thinking some kind of cable, like uh, a motor, a flexible drive linkage, so that it can turn and rotate the gyroscope as well as cook the chicken. Uh, we gotta figure out what we gotta buy. We gotta make a list. Yeah, let's go yeah. look around and let's see what we got here and see if we can find stuff outside too. Okay. Always start with the local pile. What's this stuff? I think it's conduit. Oh, yeah. It's probably too thin to use. But uh, but these look perfect. Pays to scrounge, huh? Oh, dude, ten bucks. Nice. <laughs> 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 All right, what do you want to do with it? Let's you buy uh, some uh, beer for the party. Yeah, totally. Go. Hey, Martins. Yeah. Check it out. This eaves trough. Right oh, there. wicked. Nice. That's perfect. And we just need uh, sides for it in your, your lap. And... We want to make the uh, yeah. extra long sausage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's possible? It's going to be a little tough. I looked through about uh, 200 different casings wow. to try to find you the biggest ones I can find, okay? Nice. The strongest thing is to make a natural casing, which is uh, 
hog casings or pork intestines, right? right? Natural casings curve, right? If you look at yeah, all my right, sauces, right. they always curve. <laughs> so it's not going to be like a hot dog where you can actually right, right. put it on a roll. It's just going to be a challenge. It's going to take like all three of us on the cooking of it. Okay. So I looked through and I found these guys until I came across this. This is probably the biggest casing I've ever seen in my <laughs> store after dealing with about 10,000 casings. So I couldn't right. believe that you guys liked those. So this, this should do it. Two pounds of lamb, put that through. Two pounds of something else, put that through. Right. And then do the rest in pork just to get to the 10 feet mark. Oh, thanks, thanks so much. much. Yeah, no problem. I want to see if you can produce this 10-foot yeah. sausage. Yeah, yeah. We just need... Yeah. yeah, like a BMX wheel and then a mountain bike. I'm just looking for, like, two, um, two cogs that are the same size. Did she get a haircut? No. No? Looks like your hair shorter today. Maybe it's out in the atmospheric pressure, less volume. How do you keep your beard trim? Do you do you just like use a? It doesn't grow. It doesn't grow really? Oh, that's weird. Get out. Imagine a chicken in the middle ring. <laughs> oh yes. And hey, Nobu, check out the bamboo on the outside. Oh yeah. Yeah, you should yeah. have a look. That's perfect, man. You should just grab it. All right, thank you. We've got all our supplies to make our 10-foot-long sausage, our pendulum chicken roast, and the world's tiniest tofu burgers. All we need to do now is go back to the loft, put it together, so we can make some food. We're getting everything together for our ultimate barbecue party. Mike is going to be assembling all the pieces for his pendulum roast chicken. Chris is getting the rollers together so that he can facilitate the cooking of a 10-foot-long sausage. I'm going to be cutting some holes in a big piece of bamboo so that I can figure out a steaming mechanism for the world's tiniest tofu burgers. So here we go. So I should start by making a whole bunch of holes where I want to see the baskets go in. And just figuring out a door or something. Yeah, exactly. So the basket goes in and then clips into this hole so that it stays level. But then covering it up so that it can, um, it can steam properly. How many do we have here? We have 10. You want to do 10? Let's see how we don't have 11. All right, so what are you going to do first for your thing? So this one uh, is the, where the chicken will go. And then this one I'll probably mount on a 30-degree axis or so. So it'll turn inside that one. All right, I'm sure you see it now. Yeah. Uh, so this will just swing over the fire. What I'm doing is I'm going to try and hook up the rollers to a gear system so it has constant even rotation. And this motor is going to be, uh, you know, like a 2-peer RPM, RPM motor. And so what I have to do is figure out how to hook up the motor to the gear to the tube. Like my tubes are going to be sitting on these and they're going to be rotating on these. And then what I have to do is just figure out how to drive the rollers. Simple. Yeah, really simple. Just got to do it. I'm not sure if the steam is going to travel all the way from the heat gun and the water all the way to the top. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty tall. It's it is speed. pretty tall. So maybe the first step is figuring out a way to hinge this thing on there. Right? You got to hinge it with this in there, though, right? If you wedged it with aluminum foil or something. Yeah. Your little door could be a tofu holder. Like, they'd be built on. So all I need to do is really just bend this thing, and I'm pretty much figured out the baskets. So that works. So, Nobu, I'm hoping that... I can use this drain router thing that's this 20 feet long to make a drive shaft for the gyroscope. So you can, so it turns it? So you can hand crank it. Yeah. yeah. When I turn this, here, it'll turn it that out. Look at that. It's, it's awesome. Brilliant. It's Martin. totally awesome. There isn't much flex at all in the middle. Yeah, there's a little motor to back here. It's all geared perfectly for it to rotate really slow. This cog here, which has been attached to the motor, and then, and then this chain drives these two things. This thing's ready to start up. Okay, so... Oh, nice! Look at that! That's wicked! Okay, mock sausage. Oh! Nice. Brilliant. We got a boogie on the sauce. My barbecue sauce is kind of combo North Carolina, Mexico. Some tomatoes and some tomato paste. Uh, Spanish smoked paprika. You know what I like about the, uh, the whiskey and the barbecue sauce? What's that? Because it gives that oaky flavor. Molasses, a little bit of mustard powder, chili powder. Put tons of uh, raw cider vinegar in there. Worcestershire, some unsweetened cocoa powder in. Okay, that's it. Got barbecue sauce. My tofu hotel to make the world's smallest tofu burgers is ready to go. Micah's pendulum chicken gyroscope is also ready to go. 
Here we got the 10 foot long sausage maker rollers ready to rock. So we're ready to go and have our ultimate barbecue. That's an all right hide, eh? Yeah. How do you think I should attach this to the pole? Martins, I hope you don't mind. I borrowed some of your sage and some of the um, rosemary to put in my water. Yeah, no problem. So that it nicely uh, marinates. No problem. The steam. Nice. How are you attaching that on there? I'm going to use, what do, you, what do you call these things? Uh, worm clamp. Hose clamps? Yeah, both of those. I'll be attaching it to here. And then the heat gun's going to go here? Yeah. It's hot. Can we get the chicken on, have it cook while we make the sausage? Whatever you want. And then how long will it take to cook the chicken? Two hours. Yeah, okay, so then that time we can make sausage. Because the sausage will cook faster, but it'll take longer to make. Yeah, the sausage will, ta will take about two hours to make, but about <laughs> 15 minutes to cook. Chicken's right there. I'll get the sauce. Throw it on. Okay, this is a good looking chicken. Yeah, We're pretty stoked. Okay, now just gotta be careful to kind of center it for this button. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really heavy. You're going to have major forearms after this. <laughs> okay, now, if that's not going to get evenly cooked, I don't know what will. <laughs> Should we get the yeah. sausage going? Let's get the sausage going. All, All right. right. Okay, the horn's oiled. All right, and then we'll flip this over. What is this stuff again? It's uh, animal intestine. I'll start off with a lamb. There's juice coming out. That's coming out pretty slow, eh? Uh, yeah. yeah. So we've gotten about, what? Um, like two inches. Two inches? We're yeah. going for 10 feet. I think they may have just been a little sausage blockage. There, yeah, we, there go. we go. There we go. I think we're there, man. Think so? Yeah. Look how much air is right there, Chris. Yeah. So we should open so, up the, the other end. Open it up, like cut it here? Uh, yeah, actually. That probably let the air in faster. Oh, we need to leave enough there to twist it, though. Yeah, maybe the problem. there's too much airspace. Well, that, that was why that's working so well, and this was not. Maybe massage the meat over to this end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're saving the sausage. Yeah, man. Do we have more ground meat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can go into the beef zone. This is gassy, this <laughs> end. That's happening. This is good. How long is it? Probably eight feet, nine feet. And we cut the casing in half. I know. Imagine <laughs> we could have made, like, a... A 30-foot sausage. All right, guys, so let's move the trough and start cooking it. Yeah, nice pins. Yeah, let's try the motor. Oh, it's rolling! <laughs> awesome. <Yes. laughs> oh, it's so <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. It even smells like cooked sausage. Nice. Thanks for helping me. I think I'm gonna cry. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna eat. So I'm gonna start with the um, the tofu that I marinated in cilantro and uh, chilies and ginger. There we go. <laughs> the world's God. tiniest. Uh, that looks awesome. Toast really cute. All right, so. And how do I do it? Do I just put it in here and then close the door? Yeah, I put it in there and then you sort of wedge it in there. Okay. Use a pie plate to create a seal. I'm going to put in a little there bit of go. the um, soy sauce, ginger, uh, brown sugar. I'm going to mix it with the cilantro one. See nice. how that works. This is just simply some mushrooms and some carrots. And I thought that I would just add them on top of the burger afterwards. And is this just to heat it up on the top? Yeah. Right. How's it going over there, Micah? I, gotta, I wanna I wanna fix see how it slid off center. Yeah. So the center of gravity is all the way down here. So right. it's only cooking the bottom. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Hazard. Hang on a sec. Is that, that might be hot, dude. What, what happened? Not, not what happened? We got a bunch of problems going on. <sighs> Can I put it on the table. I'm gonna there? put it on the table. Why didn't it stay on the wheel? I think that this may have come loose. So uh, we have to figure out how to center the chicken, but how to keep it from sliding. And obviously those little fork things aren't doing the job. Okay, okay. well, people are showing up pretty soon, so let's just figure it out okay. and then uh, get it back on the uh, pendulum rose. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay. The preparations for our ultimate barbecue party have been going fairly well. The 10 foot long sausage is on the rollers and cooking. The Tofu Hotel is filled to capacity and also cooking. The only problem is the pendulum roast chicken malfunction, sending the chicken into the flames. We got to figure out what happened because our friends are on their way and we're ready for the party. Okay guys, what do we have to do here? So two problems. The chicken is moving and then it's not staying inside the wheel. And then 
It's pretty critical for it to stay centered. I can't believe this is the one that screwed up and not the sausage. Okay, so what's the fix then? Remember how we had the potatoes on there to test it out earlier? Yeah. Keep the chicken in the middle yeah. and then put the potatoes on either side as spacers. Okay. Dude, I love the party life. Yeah, the party life would be great. Yeah. Couple of potatoes on the end? Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. So let's down. just hit it with some more sauce. So we just wrap this guy back up and throw it back on the pendulum roast, yeah. and then we'll uh, be ready to go. But Nick's ready to go. Oh, we have an explosion. Whoa. We got busted in the middle. Oh. Pacing busted. No. There's too much pressure. Let's just yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. the pressure. Awesome. Whoa. Yeah, we should have thought about that. I guess yeah. we were worried. Whoa. Hazard, man. Oh, oh. Whoa. It's like oh. psychedelic sporting sausage. Look at that. Wicked. So awesome. Wow. We didn't need the fog machine. Yeah, we don't all. need it. Look, it's, it's pierced. It's all staying together. Wow. It's like a sausage shower. <laughs> Steam bath. <laughs> I think the smoke's getting to you, man. I'm going to load up the chicken. Okay, I'll help you. I think recentering it is going to help. All right, so this will hold. So, yeah, and even if the set screw doesn't hold, the potatoes are on either side. Come on, Ubu. Okay, I'll jump start it. Yeah. yeah. Look at it go. <laughs> okay, it's going. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's way better balance. Yeah, it is. Oh, so nice. much better balance. Guys, I'm going to go check out the tofu. Oh, it's hot. How does it taste? Yeah, how does it taste? The marinade's really good. This is the um, cilantro lime ginger. Nice. It's good. Can't wait. Right on. So we're close, huh? We're really close. This is ready. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, chicken being. It's taking a little bit longer, I think, because of the distance. It's feeling like it might be cooked. We might as well check it. Pardon? Since we have it, we might as well check it. Yeah, I think it's ready. It's been cooking for a long time. Yeah, it's been cooking for like two hours. Okay, yeah. so let's pull it off. The 10 foot long sausage is cooked. The pendulum chicken roast is finished to perfection. The tofu burgers are going to be great. All we're doing now is putting the finishing touches on the party. Friends will show up, they'll taste the food, we'll taste the food, and we'll all decide which tastes the best. The ultimate barbecue party has begun, so it's now just time to test our 10-foot-long sausage, our pendulum chicken roast, and the tofu burgers, world's smallest. All right, here we go. All right, who wants a, uh, like... <laughs> 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 somebody like some plates? <laughs> you guys are just going straight for it. Plates. Nice work, <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, we got yeah, it. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, I uh, love it. There's lamb on this side. Thus far, fantastic. I'm so happy. We made quick work of this tent. Oh, Spectacular. Really good. First time hand beef sausage. Hand delicious. Oh, yeah. 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 Barbecue sauce, phenomenal. Whoever made it, really great. Hey guys, there's tons of chicken here. And then there's extra sauce here. Yeah, the sauce is really good. It's awesome. sweet and it's spicy. It's really great, Yeah. I did. Oh, this looks really yeah. nice. Really good. Delectable. What do you think of the sauce? It tastes really smoky. <laughs> so what is the flavor I can't identify? What is this? It might be the nine-year-old whiskey. How am I supposed to know that? There's a lot of... I, I really I like that, like, old... Oh, that's just the way I make it. <laughs> like, aged and oat cask kind of flavor. Okay. It just uh, tastes like good. <laughs> Cider vinegar, tomato, tomato paste, whiskey, chili. Is there anything here that's uh, not meat? Mm. Tofu burger, man. That's funny you should say. What is it? This is a tofu hotel. May I suggest the ground floor because the steam is rising? <laughs> We've got two kinds. One's marinated in cilantro, hot peppers, ginger, and then the other one's got uh, soy sauce, brown sugar, some sesame oil. So this is like a carrot and mushroom garnish. Some sunflower sprouts. What do you think? Well, it's really good. Really? Yeah, no, like, it was, Are you serious? Yeah, no, it's really, really good. Because yeah. you're a vegetarian, so you'd know. 
Okay. You want the penthouse? Yes, please. I have faith. All right. High roller. Concierge. Concierge. No, these are so good. I think you're all lying to me. It pays to shop uptown. <laughs> Okay, this is for you, Micah. Awesome. All right. Thanks, man. I love the sausage. I love the chicken. So I'm hoping I like or love, actually, the tofu. Cheers. Nice one. Yeah, it's all right. It's good. Mm -hmm. So we had a little friendly competition thing going on. So we want you to judge what you've eaten. Uh, how does the 10 foot long sausage rate? Yeah. That's what's work. That's work. Right. All right. All right. Eleven. All right. All right. Good work. Good work. Good work. Thanks. Pendulum roast chicken. Ten. Hey. Okay. All right. So then in, in nice. There we go. Good work. Good work. In the world's tiniest tofu burgers, you know who won? Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Wow.